here's what's really interesting is that you don't have to feel delightful for the things that you want to show up in your life. You just need to feel delightful, which is what I talk about in the book. You got to feel generally delightful because then what happens is when you're in this state where you feel this wave of delight and then you focus on the things you want, all of a sudden you're delightful about that. It's like it's an overwhelming feeling that consumes you and your perception. So it kind of like streams out, waters your perceptions in a way that now even the thing that you were pissed off about yesterday, you're starting to feel a little more satisfied about. And even if you're not, that's okay. Just go with that general feeling of feeling satisfied and delightful. And so the reason I bring this up is that sometimes we go through an exercise like this and we're like, I can't find anything, but we're, we're so narrowed in on the like things that we're unsatisfied with that we hadn't thought about you know, the burger that we had the other day that was really tasty and really good. My wife goes to me, well, what, how did you rate it? She had prepared them, right? She says, I cooked them on the barbecue. She prepared. She goes, what would you rate them on a one to 10 scale? 10 being like, awesome. I said, 10.5. <laughs> I'm like, these are really good. And I'm like salivating just thinking about them, right? So it's a strong emotion around feeling really satisfied. And it's funny because I didn't really do anything. I just really cooked them and I ate them. But the feeling of satisfaction is there. So you don't, and this is another thing, you don't have to get the feeling of satisfaction from going out and doing something. Like it doesn't have to be your productive labor that makes you feel satisfied. In the case of my book, it was. But I mean, this was a joy to write. I had a lot of fun writing this book. Um, even creating the original video that goes with the book, right? The key is, is this like, if you can associate an, an image with that feeling of, like I said, a little balloon, and this balloon is really tiny, and you're like searching for thoughts, searching for thoughts, and you might be searching for 10, 15 minutes, just like, what am I delighted with? What am I delighted with? But then something comes in and it's like, boop. Well, latch on to that. Latch on to that and just be like, what was it about that? And just stay general in the experience, right? Say general in the experience. And then when I added my book, boop, it goes up again. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I've got this wave of overwhelming satisfaction that comes my way, right? Well, what happens when you're in a satisfied state? You get, you attract more things to be satisfied about, right? So it's not really about gratitude and appreciation. It's about being in a state of being satisfied and feeling in, a feeling of delight. That when you leave this life and you return to the other side of the veil, which is who you really are, this higher self, you're gonna look back and be like, oh, that was a that was a dream. Like this physical waking reality reality was a dream. So if it is a dream and you can make it whatever you want, which you can, then I suggest that you get into the practice of feeling that state and getting into that state, that overwhelming feeling of being satisfied and feeling delight. And if you do that, it can dramatically change your life.